Alright, so welcome back to the channel and today I have just like a discussion video about Adi Slaman and where Celine is going currently. Um, someone I know actually made a video on Celine Christian, so check out his video after this. But anyway, let's get straight into this video. So if you don't know who Adi Slaman is, he is a designer and you might have heard his name because a lot of people talk about him. And if we talk about his resume, He's worked for Saint Laurent Paris. He's been a designer at Saint Laurent Paris. He's been uh, a designer for Dior Homme. And now he's the creative director of Celine. Now, Adi Samoa's aesthetic and how he makes clothes are like, he has this skinny, dark silhouette to his clothes. And um, he kind of used that silhouette to change things at Dior Homme and to change things at Saint Laurent Paris and people started loving him for that skinny silhouette. You have people like Karl Lagerfeld who came out saying things like um, he lost loads of weight so he could fit into Adi Slaman's uh, Salon in Paris clothes. So it's crazy. Also when he goes to brands, he changes a lot of things. Um, now, why it was co so controversial that Adi Slaman went to Celine is because the designer who was at Celine before Adi Slaman became the creative director is a woman called Phoebe Philo. And um, she has a very different aesthetic to him. She worked at Chloe and obviously at Celine. And her silhouette is kind of more colorful, uh, more pastel colors, wider silhouettes, where Adi Simon is like dark and skinny. So if you're a fan of Phoebe Philo's Celine, um, when Adi Simon was coming in, obviously you wouldn't like that because the way he designs and the clothes he makes are so different to what Phoebe Philo makes. So I kind of understand why there was a lot of um, uproar with um, Adi Slaman going to Celine, to be honest. Um, but I'm gonna get into something really, really soon that's kind of interesting. Now, my opinions on Adi Slaman to Celine is not that um, Adi Slaman's clothes aren't really Celine because obviously there have been many designers at Celine from Ivana or uh, Michael Kors, who was the first runway designer for Celine. Um, so there isn't a distinct Celine look. I wouldn't say that, but it was just me personally looking at Adi Saman. Um, I just wanted to see more versatility from him. And he's kind of done his dark skinny silhouette. We know, we know that like you can do that. We know you can design clothes well. And Adi Saman's a really good designer. He gets his proportions right all the time. Uh, I just wanted to see some like growth from him as a designer personally, which um, at first I didn't see, but um, I think now you can kind of see a tiny bit of growth and it's weird because no one has talked about this collection that I'm gonna talk about. And it's strange because everyone always said they want to see the old Celine. So it's just strange that, um, you know, people aren't talking about this collection. There's even an Instagram account I saw the other day called Old Celine and they just post <laughs> pictures and um, fits and memorabilia from Phoebe Philo's time at Celine. So yeah, it's just crazy. But anyway, um, in the Celine Fall Winter 2019 collection, which is Adi Saman's last Celine collection, um, it's kind of crazy because what I said earlier was that like people were complaining that this isn't really Celine. Adi Slaman has just basically made um, Celine Saint Laurent Paris 2.0. But in this specific collection, Adi Slaman actually took inspiration from uh, Celine of the 70s. So what uh, Celine looked like in the 70s was kind of like, you know, Parisian women wearing these um, pleated wool skirts and um, stuff like that. And if you look at this collection from the pieces, it's basically like, 70s Celine. So he went straight into the archives and he had pieces that had uh, pleated knee length skirts. And like I said, this is old, old, old Celine, like before the runway, before uh, Michael Kors. And it's just funny because everyone was literally saying how they wanted the old Celine. And like I said, there have been many designers that have designed for Celine. So this whole mindset that Phoebe Philo is their Celine look is kind of wrong in my opinion. And people have been saying that Adi Slamont, oh, you don't design Celine, you're not a Celine designer, this is Saint Laurent Paris. Um, but he literally, this this um, this collection is inspired by old Celine 
just really, really old Celine. So it's kind of ironic. I'm not sure if like Ali Saman is trolling, like if he did this on purpose. But um, yeah, going back to the collection, uh, he just gave us OG Celine vibes. Like the silhouettes were wide, like which is not what Ali Saman does normally. Um, the clothes were flowy. There was definitely a bit more color than Adi Saman normally uh, has in his clothes and his collections. And there were these really nice um, knee-high boots, which I thought were amazing. And yeah, I just thought this collection was genius. But yeah, that's so. That's why I'm so surprised that people aren't talking about this collection because, like I said, people have been begging Adi Saman, uh, "Where's the old Celine design clothes that Phoebe Fallo made?" Blah blah blah. blah. But He's given us old Celine now. This is literally 70s and 80s Celine. So, I don't know, it's just crazy. I wanted to talk about it because it's something I haven't seen people talking about. Uh, a lot of people have just been talking about how Celine is now sat now in Paris, but I haven't seen anyone say, oh, but actually in the last collection, um, it was not what we've seen from Adi Simon before. And it's also true to him, because in this collection, as far as, even though it's like inspired by old Celine, um, in this collection, you can still see the gothic chick that Ali Saman is used, is like accustomed to designing for. So yeah, it's crazy, man, it's crazy. But tell me what you guys thought about this collection. Uh, do you think it's still too far from Celine, the real Celine, or uh, are you all for Adi Saman kind of like going through the Celine archives and designing a collection uh, that's totally different to what we've seen from him before? Um, so yeah, like this video, subscribe to my channel. Uh, this is the Fashion Archive. Obviously I talk about fashion, I discuss fashion. Um, I have a personal channel if you want to hear about like stuff about sports and stuff because that's a big interest I have um, as well. And also, last thing I will say in this video is if you're interested in having a chat with other like-minded people about fashion, um, I have a Discord chat where we talk about fashion. Um, at first it was dead, but it's kind of, it's starting to liven up. So obviously I need more of you to join. Um, it's a Discord chat and the link is in the description below. Uh, so definitely check that out. And um, yeah, I just remembered I need to do some recent updates. So I have uh, a list now. And the first thing is, so now I have uni exams. Um, so instead of posting, I've been on some mad, work rate where I was posting like four videos a week, three videos a week, but obviously now um, I really have to chill because of exams. So I'm gonna post uh, maybe like one video a week. Um, what else? So here, okay, so <laughs> people have been begging me to do styling videos and to do videos about uh, my collection and like what clothes I have. Um, the thing is, I'm not Sanjeev. Like, I keep telling people my style isn't interesting enough for me to do styling videos and people would actually want to watch it because it's all it all my stuff just looks the same like my aesthetic is very boring so what i will do if you want to know i think it's just people just want to know how i dress or people are curious because i talk about fashion so much like oh what do you wear like what is your style like so in the summer i've been saying this forever but basically in the summer I'm going to be doing a lot of vlogs on like events I go to, fashion stores I go to, places to shop in London. Um, and in those vlogs, I will vlog my fits and I'll probably casually vlog like my collection in one of those videos, probably. Um, but I just don't want to make all these like dedicated videos to styling and stuff because that's not me. I don't know, that's just not the content I make or the content I set out to make. And there's people that do it better than me, like Sanjeev, so I don't see the point in me doing that. Um, uh, what else? So, my channel is, it's just crazy, man. Like, I've seen a lot of people subscribing to my channel recently. Um, I literally made a live stream, a 4K live stream, uh, probably like a couple weeks ago. And literally, it's crazy, because I was looking at my subscriber count now, and now I have like 4.3K. And between those time, like to gain 300 subscribers between that short space of time is just crazy to me. So shout out to everyone that tunes into these videos and watches them. Um, yeah, okay. The rest of the stuff on this list I already talked about. My new channel that's about sports and the Discord chat, which link in the, in the description below. 
Um, and last but not least is um, if you like brands like uh, Boris Bijan, Saberi, Andy Milamista, Rick Owens and the such, um, you can use my code IO20 and you get 20% off your orders at the allotment store and they have the cheapest prices out of everyone I've seen that stocks these brands like Yang Li. Um, so if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. I don't get paid because you use my code, so it's not actually me trying to make money, it's more me trying to help people that are interested in these brands to get uh, a discount. And yeah, on that note, um, I have to call it quits. I've been talking too much now. Um, need to go edit this video, but like I said, thank you to everyone that tunes into these videos. Um, no, there will be no styling videos. Sorry if that disappoints you. I'm not a stylist, like, sorry. Um, but I, in the summer, I will vlog my fits. And yeah, I'm out.